Welcome back. Towards pretty much the end of the previous part, I, I said I, I suspected we should have a scene here or something. I, I think I mentioned it anyway. But apparently I've got to investigate it twice. Now, since I've already done it once, we should be alright to get a scene now. Hmm, I don't get it. This is weird, Kay. How can we buy things even though there's nobody here? Buy things? You mean from this vending machine? Yeah. When you put money in here, all kinds of stuff pours out. Is there someone inside it? Or are you making it come out with symbology? But we didn't use any symbology. Oh, it's so weird. I don't know if you're thinking about it quite right, Limo. No, Mr. Edge. When searching for an answer, there is no wrong way of thinking. What is important is the method by which one finds it. Bacchus? Miss Limmel, your hearty appetite for knowledge is truly a wonderful thing. I find myself deeply impressed. If you would allow it, I will act as a guide towards your answer. Hmm, that's no good, Kay. Oh? What is no good? Have you already arrived at an answer through your own means? I don't know any miss. I'm just Limmel. No, Miss Limmel, I could not. Ceasing to observe the proper protocols of a address would be disrespectful. Uh, Bacchus, just call her what she wants, would you? Hmm, if you insist, Mr. Edge. Well then, Limmel, will that suffice? Yep, now you got it, Bacchus. If we resolve the issue, if we have resolved the issue, then please allow me to return to the matter at hand. This young Limmel is a vending machine. Okay. Mm there, we all better now? I suppose. Right, now let's proceed onwards. And actually, see what's behind this door here. Oh, it's the outside. I remember this bit now. We'll avoid you. Still doing the idea of avoiding enemies as much as I can. Can I get over there? Hmm. Like to the left of me now. I'm not sure. No, I think it's just the pattern of the area. Skill manual rage. Still completely forgot about the skill manuals, by the way. You'd think by this point I would remember to do them. Especially because we're going to get these random fights all over the place. Just keep your cool and we'll be At least I've got a nice bonus board. Fight as the leader for 60 minutes. It's only been 60 minutes? No. I expected it to have been like hours and hours. Oh, does it just mean any fight? Does that mean I've done fights for 60 hours? I mean, I, I think that is what it means, otherwise that is weird. I was just getting warmed up. Indeed. Bring them on. That's exactly how I felt. Five does the battle leader for 60 minutes. Yeah, battle leader. Yeah, not 60 minute battles. Got it. Oh, well, we could have used that. All right. Fine, whatever. See if I care. I don't care. It's fine. <gasps> giant robot thing. Always love a giant robot thing. I think they're actually good for XP, if I remember correctly. But not too fussed. It, it, I can't tell if they're saying, where's my prey, or there's my prey. It could be both. At the same time. There's another one. Another manta ray. But... Recently, like, um, I'm trying to think, like, what day this will be coming out. This, yeah, this will be after Nier Automata is done. Which is so weird, because I, I fin finished Nier Automata back in October. So long ago. And the reason I did that was, like, like I've mentioned several other places, was to have some time off. Like, so I can get some stuff done, go visit some shows, that up. sort of thing. Bring and one of the ones that I did go and see this feels pretty was, good, Kate. well, it's... There's a podcast I listen to, I've mentioned it previously, called The Parapod. It's a paranormal podcast, but it's a comedy paranormal podcast. That That's the key difference there. It's, it's like, it, it's, it's all nonsense, and one of them knows it, one of them doesn't. That's the funny side of it. At least I find it funny anyway, and, and so do many other people. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But for me, I... I'm getting stuck on this enemy. But for me, I really, really enjoy it. Right, I'm going to try and blindside these guys because they look like they're going to be an issue. If I can actually get away, it would be helpful. Look, I, I'm, I'm trying to dodge away so I can actually get there. It's like I'm not getting the chance to move away. Right, there we go. Right, so... Just go around and get you that way. Moving that one out of the way as we go. 
Yeah, so it's, it's presented by two people, one called uh, Mary Dodds, one called Ian Boldsworth. Now, probably like six months ago now, they, they advertised that they were going to do a show together. Now, Ian Boldsworth hasn't done like the stand-up comedy routine in a while, really. It's like, he, it's, it's not for him anymore. He's, he's sort of gone off the idea. So it's like the chance to see him do some stand-up. It's like, well, I'm, I'm taking that opportunity. All obstacles have been eliminated, Indeed. Mr. Edge. Yes, now yes, that's yes. What I'm talking about. Maybe now but I especially because of the fact it was everyone. very close by to me. It was, it was probably like, what, 30 miles away from me? So it was very, very nice. It was over in Nottingham. So that gives you a, a range if you want to try and figure that out for some reason. But yeah, it was over in Nottingham. Now, I absolutely love Nottingham. I didn't know this until I went to Nottingham. It's like the design of the place, how it's all laid out. It's just very, very nice. The buildings are lovely. The people are lovely. It's just, just, yeah, I really enjoyed my time in Nottingham. But, but, the thing that I actually enjoyed more was we basically got to the show, me and, me and a couple of friends. It was like, right, we're going to see those two do some stand-up. That was the idea. And then it was basically during the show, they asked us, would you actually like to see an episode, a live episode of the Parapod instead? And it's like, oh my god, yes. Dear god, yes, do I want to have a episode of the Parapod right now? Oh, I forgot about this bit. It's like, it's, it's, it looks like you can travel places, but you actually can't. And it's all icy as well. I can't remember how we get round it. I think there's either switches or we have to kill all the enemies. It's something like that. I can't remember. Let's go... Because I can't go down there. And I can't go up here. If I can't go up there and I can't go down there, it's got to be kill enemies, surely. I mean, what else would it be? An enemy. An enemy. Could be an enemy, yeah, you're right. It's like there, it's like that. Oh, well that got rid of it. Oh, so maybe it gets rid of it for a second. I've got to run through it quickly. Maybe I meant to run through it quickly anyway. No, oh, no. See, that one's not disappearing. Hmm. I don't remember having to do that to get through it. So maybe there's certain ones or something that cause like a... Maybe there's certain times. Yeah, that, that one's timed. Hmm. I don't remember it being this weird in here. Bizarre, but I want to get that chest. Oh, the force field came back. So maybe I was just timing it right or something. Oh, damn it. But yeah, so obviously, it went to like a group vote on whether or not we wanted to listen to the stand-up. Or like an actual live episode of the Parapod. And it was fantastic. Absolutely enjoyed myself. It's the first comedy show I've been to, and then I didn't expect it to be the Parapod. So it was like, my god, this is fantastic. Utter nonsense. Some of the up. stories were utter Bring nonsense. Like a ghost this goose. Pretty good, Kate. Yeah. It, it's just like, what are you on about with a ghost goose? There's no such thing as a ghost goose. There's no such thing as ghosts. Never mind a ghost goose. What is this nonsense? Yeah, absolutely loved it. I'd go again if I could. We I, I doubt they're actually going to do another show, but... And they are actually working on a movie right now, which is going to be interesting. Oh, I'm going to get caught in a loop again. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I got shot out of the way, which could be good for me. Like this. Come on. Lovely, lovely. But it is odd how I started that podcast, though. It's like, it was, um, because I watched the Jim Sterling video. It's about a bus simulator or something and he just mentioned the podcast i was like i'll go listen to that i'll go listen see what he's on about and he's like i really really enjoyed it so it's like thank you very much jim sterling for allowing me to find that podcast because of you energy shield love it but i and i would recommend it to anyone out there as well if you haven't listened to it the parapod i've mentioned it so many times but it's like it, it it's just really fun are right, we done in here there's a chest over there. It's like I've said before, like th this... Uh, what would you call it? Like Mothership? I think it's called the Mothership, isn't it? It's like... It is going to 
go away is an option we can return to. Because obviously, it's, it doesn't seem like a place we could return to, does it? It's, it's like, we got captured. This isn't going well. I need some help. Oh, damn it. Let's just get these armored dragoons down. Right, there we go. Oh, I didn't expect an ambush. At least we get another mark on the board. Gonna try and build the bonus board back up now, which is unfortunate. There we go. Thing is, something that happened with the um, going to Nottingham. Possibly fail. I was going to say, is it going to be another ambush? Because it was taking its time then. Now that's what I'm talking about. Indeed. I, I arrived in Nottingham ahead, ahead of my friends, sort of like a, about an hour and a half earlier, just because I took the train. It's because they, they were arriving by car, so it's just like, yeah, I, I fancy taking the train there. I, I like taking trains, they're fun. It's just something about them. We're going to get ambushed like just hell in here. Cool I'm going to say, can we interrupt them? And yes, we can. Alright, what's targeting me? Well, that didn't go well, did it? So, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying. I'm losing my train of thought because I'm trying to concentrate on the battle. It's weird. Well, not that weird, really, is it? But yeah, I arrived in Nottingham an hour and a earlier. And it was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll have a wander around. I'll go to see the Nottingham Castle, all that sort of thing. See the statue of Robin Hood. And you know, the usual stuff you do when you're in Nottingham. Just wonder about. Found a cat cafe. Didn't go inside it, so I was too busy. So I wanted to find out where the show actually was. Because I've never been to Nottingham before. Oh no, I have been to Nottingham before, just not that area. Let's put it like that. Yeah, so I was like, right, I'll find out where we are. And then I'll, I'll wait for my friends to arrive. And it was sort of like. It's getting really late. What? Where? Oh, the bonus board. Like, stop hitting me. Oh, it died. Yeah, it's like it's ending messages like, where are you? It's like, oh, we're almost there. It's like, all right, then I'll, I'll, I'll wait outside so you can see where it is. You can find me. Therefore, find it. And it was just like, like, seriously, where, where are you? And then it's like, they're sending messages like, yeah, we're kind of lost. Like, what do you mean lost? What, where are you? Like, we're in another town? It's like, what? You're in another town? Like, yeah? It's like, oh dear. Like, what did you do to end up there? It's like, when well, we used this map and it, it didn't go the right way. It's like, all right, fine. There, there was some, it was something like, their sat nav sent them off course by like, like 30 miles. Yeah. Just... Very much in the wrong location. What have we got here? Thunder Ring. But they got sorted in the end and they, they arrived in the right location. Eventually. Oh, I, I see now. Right, we need we need the air to be like that so we can see what we're doing in here. Got it. Frame rate suffering there, that's weird. Yeah, because there, I couldn't see the thing. I'm just trying to, trying to wonder what, like, what's the best way to get all the chests, etc. in here, because that's got to be the focus. Really? That's weird. It was like, it, it looked like I could almost do the right, the, just get off the right blind side, but no. There we go, that's what I'm after. Here I come! It's like, uh, uh, get away from that. Oh, damn it. Now oh, it's gonna die. Just looks like an idiot when it just, it goes slow-mo and hits nothing. Okay. Right, so let's try and get past you. Oh, stupid. It's like, maybe I can get past it. I need to find a way to make this show up. Right, get out there. 
Because out here, I can see where they are. I don't want to be surprised. I should have known. Damn it! Force breaker! Oh, I expected this to actually attack me because I was right in front of it, but no. Alright, so let's build the bonus board back up. But has anyone else been to like a comedy show or anything? I assume a few people out there have. It'd be weird if it was just me. Like, why? Who's going to these things? Like, would you just give me a sec? I'm spamming circles so I can get away like that. It's just like not giving me the opportunity to move away. There we go. Oh, and now you're not attacking me. I see how it is. Let's just kill this thing. With the rush activated. I was just getting warmed up. I wasn't. I wasn't just getting warmed up, just so you know. Anyway, what were we doing? I was trying to get this chest over here. Doesn't seem like I can get through. Does it? So, where am I going to go if I can't go that way? Hmm. Because it's got to be in here. Where else do I go? Oh, maybe, maybe... Up here, that would make sense, wouldn't it? That'd make a lot more sense. I want to avoid these fights if I can. Oh! Because then I get surprised. That's the issue. They're so big. The question is, how do these enemy types actually get into these tunnels? Would you... Get off! Let's try and take advantage of these situations. Ow, 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 ow. Here I come! Excellent stampede slash! You've disappeared? Stampede slash! Now you'll see what I'm made of! There we go. I was just getting warmed up. Dude. Bring them on. This body of mine would still seem to have hidden potential. Well, maybe you should unlock that potential. Alright, so there's going to be another barrier somewhere, isn't there? I think it's here. Yeah, because I, I can see like sort of like the edge of the barrier. And I can see edge as well. Edge Maverick. Who came up with that name though? Like, why? Right, want this lightning thingy over here. I'm, I'm pressing circle next to it. Oh. I know, surprise attack. Right, come on, attack me. Get out of the way nicely there. Part of the... Uh, I want to call it routine that we, we saw at this comedy show, the Parapod comedy show. Like the, the start was just to stand up. And it was pointing out how the like the other person from the podcast was like downstairs waiting to do his bit later. But he, they also informed us like they didn't really have anything planned in case we said no to listening to like a live version of the Parapod. That they had nothing in place. Sort of. The the other one had had a plan, just in case. But his plan was, you know, those like paper guessing games. Yeah, where it's sort of like paper fortune telling. I think that's what it is. Where it's like you like pick a color, pick a number, that thing, and you just move it in and out, sort of thing. Is it, I don't know what they're called. It might just be paper fortune telling, something like that. All right, where are we going here? I'm thinking of just leaving that chest down below, by the way. Just just forget about it and move on. Can't be that important, surely. Probably is. All right, so where are we now? Looks like we're coming up on a boss, though, from the looks of it. Yeah, so we'll go see if we can get that chest around there. Run through that. Whoa. What? Whoa, you could see his face. Just his face as well. 
All right, no, don't 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 target me or anything. Yeah, so so he gave us sort of like a a sample of what it would be like if he'd actually do his routine. It was just terrible, but funny terrible because it was just one instance of it. It's like it, it, if it had been the whole show, it would have been awful. But because it was like this is what I had planned. If in case you said no, it's like oh dear, that would have been awful. So it's hilarious. And the thing is, it's like, ah, he's just, just doing that for the show. Based on what you learn about him through the podcast, so glad that wasn't, safe. wasn't just a joke. He was actually planning to do that. I don't think this one turns off. Because, yeah, it doesn't turn off. Right, so where are we going? Over up here. Oh, God. See, this one does, because otherwise we wouldn't have got in here. Okay, so there's something over here. That's what we need, is that. I th yeah, I think it might have been here where I, I gathered materials, etc. Because of the green thing. I think that's where I did it. Right. Oh, I was going to say I don't see a barrier. But I do. Right, come on. Right, where are we going to go now? We could go down into the middle somehow, or we could go up. It doesn't seem to disappear, does it? No. No. Right, okay, so we're meant to go back. An enemy. An enemy. No, you don't disappear? So where am I going to go, then? Hmm. I can't think of where to go here now. Because if I can't go up... Oh, no, there's... that. Yeah. I can go enough up. That's the thing, that there isn't enough to go in here. Yeah, there you go. So we'll activate this. All right. All right. So does that disappear? No. So it's got to be this way. Right, run through quickly. Well, that one's constantly on, so that can't be there. Alright, so let's let's see if we can get this ice one round here. Oh god. Maybe I won't. Might get through. There we go. That's like that that looks scary. That looked quite scary. Mind flare. Okay, so. Can, hmm. If I head down from here, because I can hear another one, that's the thing. But where is this other one? It's just worrying, it's like, uh, It's around somewhere. Sylvance. I'm sure I can get these items elsewhere later, though. So it's, it's just, just sort of like, I don't know, I might, might be missing an opportunity. Uh, wait for you to disappear. And then I'll head back up and get that other one activated. Right, go, 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 go. Right, in here. There's my prey! There's my prey. Ding! So we get this chest and we should be nearing the boss. I sense we're nearing the boss. Oh, it's just a power bracelet? So I just want to avoid the enemies. It's like I can sense they're there. I bet there is. Alright, where are we going in here? Still a circle. Ow. I was hoping I, I could maybe get through that area. Hoping it wasn't a barrier of some sort. We don't have time to play around. Indeed we don't. Eat this! Oh, seriously, there's something over my front. I can feel it almost clamming up. I might have to get some. I can't remember what they're called. An aniseed tablets. I think that's what it is. That usually clears up my throat nicely. I've been speaking too much. Because I've been recording quite a bit in the past two days. Still got quite a bit to record. What, three games going out at the moment? Right, so... 
Oh, I see. I remember. Yeah. We need to avoid that. Let's go back out and we'll go back in because I don't want to face the big one. Alright, so what I've got to do is get on this. And then go this way. And avoid the big ones if I can. No! I'm trying to move away! So when I'm running away from this one. We were too careless. Well, at least we got the first attack in. Right, run away. We have to hurry on ahead. Let's get out of here for now. I don't care about the bonus board. It's just I'm not trying to fight this one. I'm trying to get off. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Getting quite a bit of XP from doing them. Which is nice. Fury boost. Okay, so we can clearly go through this one shortly. No. Alright, so we want to go back. Oh, I ran straight into that one. I'm going to preempt attack, though. So we'll take these ones out. Ow. Alright, get some of the bonus board going back up again now. Lovely! For a battle, rather an anticlimactic of. Alright, calm down. Alright, so where are we going in here now? Maybe into the middle? Yeah, because this takes us below. But I can't see what I'm doing. Um. I kind of want to go here. I'm going to forget about the chest. Oh, come on. It's the only problem with all this mist. It's like... Very, 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 very... Hard to spot the enemies. It is... It's so many memories coming back at this place. Where it's just farming so much. I, I ended up with something... Some stupid level in here as a result of doing this. I'm not doing it again, by the way. There's some people battle, like, like ever since I showed that platinum at the start to point out how much I know about this game. Some people seem to assume that means I'm doing a hundred percent run. Hell no. So where shall I begin? Bacchus, how about telling us exactly who you are first? I am precisely who I said I am. I am Bacchus D. Yeah, D79 of the Morphus. Um, what's the Morphus? It's a very straightforward concept. Just as you are Mr. Edge, you and Mr. Edge are Earthlings, I am of a race known as the Morphus. Ah, oh, I see. Bucky, are all your friends huge and clunky and all boom too? Eh, I may not look it, but I am a scientist. I lost the use of my body while in the process of fulfilling my duty, so I repaired it to what you see here. Your duty? You mentioned that earlier. The destruction of the Epiphanies of Guidance, correct? Indeed, that is part of my duty, but not its entirety. Leading the universe towards a just future for the sake of the continued existence of all life. That is the duty of the Morphus. Hmm. Hmm? What's wrong? Your action does not surprise me. I could not blame you if you thought of us as, uh, as megalomaniacs, posturing as some kind of superior beings. However, we are not quite so arrogant. We are merely acting to escape our own destruction. The result will mean safety for all species, but the Morphus are at heart motivated by simple egotism. I see, your lack of hypercritical selfness does make it easier to sympathize with your cause. I am honored that you understand. Um, you just said you're acting to escape destruction? What are the epiphanies of guidance anyway? Are they, are they so dangerous that they could destroy the entire universe? I see you too have a hearty appetite for knowledge, Miss Raimi. As you wish, I shall explain. To do so, I will need to begin with the history of the Cardianon. Until roughly 200 years ago, the Cardinon species had not even developed speech. 200 years? You're telling us they built a civilization like this in only 200 years? 
Common sense would suggest that be impossible. That is correct. But then objects that render common sense meaningless fell upon their planet from deep space. The epiphanies of guidance. Precisely so. The Cardinon attained an an anomalous rate of evolution and became a savage species with blind faith in the epiphanies. The epiphanies not only warped the Cardinon's nature, course, uh, natural course of evolution, but also took from them their home. Their home? Indeed, the planet Cardinon could not withstand the rigors of its rapidly advancing civilization and was destroyed. Consequently, the Cardinon are now a vagrant people with no land to call their own. That's kind of sad. I don't really understand, but losing your home is no fun, Kay. I guess you might say the Cardianon were themselves victims at first. The Cardianon are now actively seeking a new homeland, with the this fortress as their mother ship. Which ultim ultimately means invasion, I take it. That is something that cannot be condoned, no matter what the circumstances. Quite so. And that is why I must destroy the Gagori. The Gagori. Yep. Gregory. Gregory. No, what I meant to say was the Gregory. We Morphus use the name Gregory to refer to the epiphanies of guidance. I trust you have seen the mutated Cardianon. Yes, enough to be sick of them. That is the evolution the Gregory bring about. By bewitching minds and bewitching planets, they attempt to destroy the universe. That is the Gregory's definition of evolution. It's my duty to destroy the Gregory and hold the expansion of that aberrant. Aberrant? Aberrant. Evolution. Well, in that case, we'll help you out. Mr. Edge? Edgy? As long as these Gregory are around, what happened on Lemurus will happen again, right? Proper evolution, the future of the universe. <laughs> oh, that's way beyond me. But if there's one thing I know, it's that the pain our friend went through can't be allowed to happen again. Mr. Edge, you are a straightforward man. In that way, you resemble Mr. Crow quite a bit. So it was Crow after all. You two invaded the ship and stirred things up together, right? My meeting with Mr. Crow was complete chance. I detected a distress signal from his ship while on the way here. That lummox making us all worry like this. Mr. Crow proposed that he and his crew join me in my mission to destroy the Gagori. But before even hearing my answer, he infiltrated this fortress along with his entire ship. By the time I had caught up and stopped him, it was already quite close to the central isolation chamber. It's conceivable that he might have been able to subdue this entire fortress alone. Sounds like quite an amazing person. Yeah, he's like a more potent version of Edge. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not anything like Crow. At least, I don't think I am. Having said that, the Cardianon were equally tenacious. As a result, Mr. Crow's crew sustained injuries. Eventually, we surrendered and were taken prisoner. Even so, I could not permit all of us to be killed. I had Mr. Crow and his crew escape from the facility while I created a diversion with the Acardian... With the Acardian on? What? With the Acardian on. There's too much speaking in this bit. I get to the point, Bacchus. Anyway, I can't believe you convinced him. It is as you say, Mr. Edge. At first, Mr. Crow was adamant about acting as the decoy himself. But he analyzed the situation from every available angle and made the best possible choice to prevent annihilation. It's really doing a number on my throat, this, by the way. I already said it was bad, and it's just, it's starting to ache. Mr. Crow is a passionate man, but he is also quite cool headed. I imagine he is bringing my message to N2, can't remember how it said, the Morphous Center of Operations, as we speak. Hmm? EN2, there we go. I'll explain at another time. Right now, we have more immediate concerns. We're almost there. Yeah, almost to the Gregory. And that's where we're going to end this part. Because I need to have something for my throat. Because it's, it's starting to feel scratchy, which isn't a good sign. So we'll see you in the next part. Goodbye for now.